Hey guys, so today I am taking part in a mystery box challenge, which means Dixie Bell has sent me a box of goodies and I'm not entirely sure what is going to be in this box. But today I'm going to be making over this kind of cute blanket box, so stay tuned for that. So myself, uh, Brandy from Brush by Brandy and Emily from Weathered Heart Designs have teamed up today and we are doing a mystery box special on our YouTubes this week. So we have all been sent a mystery box by Dixie Bell. We have no idea what's inside them other than we have all been sent a transfer and we have all been sent the same transfer. So I have my box here with me. So I've no idea what's inside this box right now. I have a feeling that Dixie Bell is going to send me colours that I might not normally use. So I'll be interested to see what's in here. So let's give this an open. So right at the top here, I've got the transfer that I'm going to be using today on this blanket box. You ready? Dun, 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 dun. And it's nautical. So the three of us have all got the uh, nautical transfer that we have to use today. Let's see what colours are in here that I have to use. Okay, so I've got manatee grey. Um, greys are not usually my speci my speciality, um, but I'm up for the challenge. Um, so I'll be interested to see how I can use this. I have sandbar which I actually really love this colour. I think sandbar is absolutely perfect for highlighting. So I can definitely, definitely do something quite easily with this. I can see a little bit of turquoise. I'm, I'm definitely enjoying one of these. All right, so we've got one of my favorite colours, which is great, uh, the Gulf, which is a lovely turquoise. And I also have Stormy Seas, which is a really dark bluey gray, which I have used in the past. It's not a regular one for me. These are all my colours. And this is my transfer so um so yeah I'm, there's definitely going to be an article vibe on this one this week guys okay so here is where my head is at i am thinking about creating something a little bit dramatic and a little bit stormy okay to get started with i am going to use some would you bend and ignore my messy hands they're always messy and i'm thinking about maybe just applying this here and this will just help fill out a little bit of the space Alright guys, so I am coming in first with my Stormy Seas and I am using the Best Dang brush and I am stippling this on and I'm going to make sure that there is really, really good coverage. Also, as always, all of the products that I use today are listed below. Um, you can buy them through my links as well, which helps support my channel. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so what I have now, the sea spray has completely dried and I've come in next with my gulf. I've got a fresh brush and I'm stippling this randomly over the top of the stormy seas. <laughs> I am now blending my sandbar over the top and I will also come in now with a little bit of stormy seas over the top of that and this is just to get a nice blend going without it being overly blendy. messy work hair going on now it's terrible like, I get paint all over my hands and I'm constantly doing this as a paint and then it just ends up looking a bit crazy but anyway <laughs> on to painting I've still got to work some manatee grain to this I'll give you a little peek of what's happening so far so I'm absolutely loving this um, 
These are colours that I never would have thought to put together and I'm just amazed at how good they're looking. I was, I knew that I could make the stormy season gulp work and then I was a little bit worried about the other two. Um, but it just goes to show how important it is to try new colour combinations sometimes and get out of your comfort zone because that's where you discover new things that you love and you know you start to grow. But anyway, let's try and get some manatee grey into this. So you how runny it is, it's very runny. And I'm going to do a colour wash now. I'm just using a normal chip brush for this and I'm working in sections, misting my water paint mixed as I go just to make sure that it is really nice and watery. And then I just have some old brown delivery parchment paper that I actually just got from a delivery box. I've scrunched it all up so it has lots of crinkles and then I'm patting that in and it's almost going to like work like a stamp because it's just going to create a lot of texture. If you feel that your colour wash is a little bit too dark, like it is here with mine, um, then just you can just use your water mister just to kind of water it down even more and then just go in with the ragging technique again. Um, it will look a lot more translucent though, so be warned, when it dries it will look a lot more faded than what it does when it's wet. <laughs> So I have the pieces of transfer chopped out now that I want and I'm actually going to put a lighthouse as a centrepiece in the middle of this and I'm just applying it making sure it's well stuck down and then using the wooden applicator thingy um, that you get in the tubs I'm just going to work on this in sections by putting a little bit of pressure and rubbing the transfer what that does is it activates the glue on top of it and then that will actually stick the transfer to the furniture then. As you work in your transfer then just pull off the backing sheet very slowly, rubbing as you do so and just having little peaks just to make sure that it, is, it has fully attached itself to your furniture. And then give it a good burnish with your hand once you've pulled off the backing sheet, again just to make sure it's totally secure. And I just want to give you a little glimpse here, so I did a few more cutouts um, of some of the littler pieces on this transfer and just applied them to the panels and did the same thing. And then on the top of the piece there was this amazing kraken in the nautical transfer and I decided to make this a statement part on top of the piece as well. <laughs> Another top tip is also to make sure that your paint is completely dry when you apply your transfers so that none of the paint pulls up. Alright, so I decided that I wanted to blend these transfers in a little bit. Not a huge amount, I don't want to completely lose them, but what I decided was just with a chip brush, I came in with my sandbar and stippled a little bit over the top of there, just a tiny little bit, and then I came in also with the gulf and did the same, and each time that I apply a little bit over the transfer, I'm grabbing my rag, it, ha it is a little bit damp, and then I'm just patting it off just to kind of make it a lot more subtle, and this way, this is just going to help the transfer transfer look a little bit more grungy because obviously this is going to be a bit of a weather beaten piece and also it's just going to help the transfer look like part of the piece. And it's time for waxing, my favourite part. I have easy peasy spray wax here and I'm giving it a good shake to make sure the wax is all combined and I'm spritzing it in sections and then with a French tip brush I'm going in with my brown wax. Don't panic here, it's not going to look as crazy as this, I bet you're thinking oh my gosh why is she, why is she just totally covering that paint up but have faith. So I'm coming in now with a baby wipe, a wet rag would also be fine and because it's water based it means that I can just wipe it back and you can see now it, some of the paint is starting 
starting to peek through the wax and it's looking kind of old. And now I have my white wax, Best Tang Waxing White, and also the Le Petit brush, which is my favorite wax brush. And I'm just applying this into the middle of the panels just to kind of highlight it and to make it look a little bit sun bleached. And then I am applying brown wax around the edges just to make this piece look aged. And this is the finished result. It's super grungy. I wanted it to really look nautical and like it was totally weather beaten. And this was just a really, really fun experiment to do as well. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you thought today, whether or not you like this look and whether or not this is the kind of look for you. And as always, guys, happy painting and have a lovely day. Bye bye.